what's up guys welcome back to the channel once again we are back today going to implement is based on shorting the numbers in an array obviously the shorting algorithm whatever we are just going to perform in today's program a basic shorting of numbers algorithm that is the bubble shot algorithm okay and now moving to the uh, topic or the concept uh, behind the shorting algorithm is that whenever you will be asked about the shorting algorithm that whether the shorting algorithm is unique or not the simple answer to this question is that obviously not okay why now the shorting of numbers whatever we are just going to carry out that can be uh, implemented by a huge number of algos okay there are a number of numerous number of algorithms using which you can short the numbers like uh, today we are just going to use the bubble short in fact but apart from that we are having the hip short quick short merge short radix short okay number of shorting algorithms will be having so it's not a unique algorithm the shorting algorithm is in fact there are number of ways to short the numbers basically shorting is what if the numbers are in random positions we are just going to arrange them in an ascending manner so we are just going to arrange them in an ascending format that's it okay so that was all about the shorting algorithm so let's directly dive into the code without wasting a single second let's get started with the code and before starting with the coding format make sure that guys if you like this video if you like the previous video go through the uh, videos they will be completely basic conceptual algos uh, you will be clear with the design of algorithm uh, typing new codes new programs it will be very much useful so it's completely free click the subscribe button hit the bell icon so that you will be notified with all the updates regarding the channel and that's it this is for the intro let's dive into the code <laughs> okay so see so first of all i'll be just uh, directly moving into the code okay so okay so this is the short okay i'm just giving the class name as short and the entire code which we are just going to carry out that will be in the java platform c i'll be just making it quite clear that the part which will be used for the shorting you can carry out it's not like that you are supposed or you are bound to carry out in the java platform only apart from some uh, terms and terminologies just excluding that or you can use the header files okay and that's it the concept will be same on any platform like c c++ java just the concept will you need to in, invoke through the concept that's it okay so start with the program um, by importing the java.util package why we are importing the java.util package just to use the scanner class for which purpose for taking the inputs from the user side main method yeah done with it i hope okay so now we are done with it so let's construct the object of the scanner class So we are done with creating the object of the scanner class now we can easily take the inputs so first we will print the message that uh, for the user basically to enter the size of the array okay the array which we are just going to implement we need the size of the array basically and that we are going to take from the user side itself okay so int n will be representing the size of the array clear and now we'll be inserting the elements in the array okay from the user side itself okay
done with it so now we will be requiring the loop because uh, each time we'll be running the loop to insert the elements or to take the elements from the user side okay okay these are stored in the array array is static so as much time you will be implementing the program the number will be the data will be stored in the array the point at which you terminate the program the number will be erased okay array is a static memory allocation okay so now let's uh, we have input or we have simply inserted the elements in the array but this will be in the random format so we are supposed to short them so this code right now which i'm just going to write is for shorting okay so you don't worry about what i'm just typing right over here i'll be just letting you know about the entire working of the code okay how the code is working or what's happening with it okay i'll be just letting you know so you don't need to worry about it okay so we are done with the shorting algorithm so this entire code whatever i have just written from this for loop okay so this highlighted code this stands for the shorting of the numbers in the array so how it's working i'll be just letting you know let me complete the code and let's show you how this code will be working we'll be displaying the shorted array the newly shorted array the shorted array okay so simply to display the array this is the basic So we are done with the entire code. So this is the bubble shot algorithm. Okay. So let's compile. Okay. So right over here, we have to declare the array also in Java. How we declare the array in this way here. This is, this will represent the size of the array simply remember. Okay. So this is quite normal and if you are uh, means working on with the C platform then that will be quite simple okay over here only you are uh, supposed to means declare the size of the array at the very uh, starting of the program and that's it but in case of Java you need to do it like this you need to construct the array object and the mention the return type as well so here this is an array of integer type okay so this is done the now let's see whether it's having any uh, error or not okay so let's uh, compile this code first okay error free java short so see it's asking for the size to enter the size of the array obviously okay so let's take it like four and let's randomly let's put the number and i'll be trying to put it uh, in a uh, means random manner okay so that will be understanding how the shorting algorithm is working see you can very well see the entire program okay so how it's this is the shorted array okay 5 7 12 63 but you can very well find it over here that the elements which we insert into the array it's in this format 
125637 which is unsorted basically but whatever the output we are getting as the shorted array this is like this 571263 so how the code is working or how the code is running you need to understand this format apart from just uh, learning the codes or just means memorizing the codes it's not the proper manner you need to understand the coding uh, means the algo part that matters the most that will give you the confidence to write the code for use line of code you won't be getting depressed or you won't be getting it like frustrated job of coding you will surely love the coding format okay so let's understand how the coding works over here okay so for that we okay so i'll be just uh, considering this one to understand how it's working like i have just considered 12 5 63 and 7 as the input so let's enter them okay Twelve, five, sixty-three, and uh, finally we are having seven. Done. Okay. So from the very beginning, I apologize from my handwriting manual. It's very um, drastic. Okay. So this is the array which we are having, and in this array, as you can see, this is a random array. This is not means uh, in a shorted format. Okay, so I'm also specifying this uh, means sequence. Okay, zero, one, two, and n minus one. Here n is what? How much? Remember that thing. N is four. We have taken it from the user side. N is four. So here the uh, I'm sorry. So this will becomes n minus one will becomes how much? Three. So zero to three it will. exist okay now see so in the first phase of the code you can see what we have written this i this for loop with the i variable it represents the outer loop and it's executing or it's running for how many times you can see how many time it's running i less than equals n i is initialized to 1 so n number of time it's running or executing for n number of times you need to remember as the value of i becomes n plus 1 this condition terminates and the entire for loop will terminate okay so as per now you just understand that the outer loop will run for n number of times that's the number of terms it will um, that means you are just going to apply the operation of shorting for each of the elements in the array there are four elements so you need to apply the operation of shorting on four number of elements on or simply you can say four times you are supposed to carry out okay now moving to the inner loop in the inner loop which is the variable uh, of j which is having the variable j you can see so it's running for how many times 0 2 n minus 1 so it will be depending on the outer loop variable i okay whatever the value of i it will be uh, mat uh, it will be based on the uh, means outer variable outer loop variable i okay and uh, inside this loop we are having this condition if condition okay so let's understand this for the first phase okay so see so in the first case we are having for the first loop uh, we are having the i value is how much so let's write it over here i value is 1 so we are entering into the loop inside loop in a loop we are just moving into the inner loop and for i value 1 the j value is always the j loop the inner loop the j value is starting from 0 till n minus i not n minus i less than n minus i means here the j value will work or j value uh, inner loop will be executed from 0 to n minus i uh, less than n minus i na so n value is 4 4 minus 1 3 less than 3 means 0 to 2 so how many times it will be executed it will be executed three times okay clear with it or not 0 to 2 so how it's working see 
so in the inner loop we are having this condition if if condition you can see the first line uh, is the if condition if a array of j index is greater than array of j plus 1 index so what it means so this j value is how much now j value is 0 okay so a of j represents this 12 okay so in the if condition we are having if 12 if a of 0 is greater than a of 0 plus 1 that means this 1 so 12 is obviously greater than 1 so what we are supposed to carry out we are just going to swap them so you can very well see over here we are doing the swapping we are taking a third variable and putting the value of a0 into it now a0 uh, place is quite empty it's not having anything and in the a0 value we are putting back the a1 value that is in a0 we are having this 5 and now a1 is empty 5 is they are transferred into the a0 so a1 is empty now back to the a1 we are transferring the content of a0 or temp temp as a0 is already having this value okay and temp is the third variable we don't require it we just using for our purpose and after our purpose has been fulfilled we don't require it so here we are transferring the value of 12 so you can see somehow we have accomplished the shorting clear so now uh, as the condition fulfills it just moves and j value um, see this if condition is satisfied is it like uh, it will just move out and i value will be incremented no don't do this okay you are supposed to check whether the j condition is satisfying or not in the inner loop you need to check it uh, as many number of times till the j condition will be satisfied means j must be less than n minus i that is 3 j value must be less than 3 as it becomes equals 3 we are supposed to move to the outer loop clear so now j value will be incremented and it will become 1 okay forget about this okay so j value is 1 is 1 less than 3 obviously so once again we are supposed to carry out but here the j value will be how much not 0 it will be pointing to this and j plus 1 will be this okay j is 1 I'm just mentioning right over here j and this one is j plus 1 clear clear or not so this is the j a j in uh, j index array element and this is the j plus 1 index array element so we need to check whether 12 is greater than 63 or not a j is greater than 63 is it true no so this if condition won't be carried out and the j value will be incremented to 2 is 2 less than 3 obviously so once again we'll be executing this one we are supposed to check a j so this will represent the j index array element okay this as our j value has been updated to 2 okay so this will represent a j as you can see a j is uh, and the j plus 1 index value we need to find out this one this 7 is the j plus 1 index value this is this one okay so this is the j plus 1 okay clear so we need to check whether aj is greater than aj plus 1 is aj is greater than aj plus 1 or not yes 63 is greater than 7 so we need to once again carry out the swapping so what will it become 5 12 7 7 will come over here and 63 will come right to this place so this will be uh, after the swapping this will looks like this okay but once again we are supposed to increment the value as it moves out of the if loop uh, here the j value will becomes 3 but now compare the condition of j 
j less than n minus i n value is 4 4 minus i i value is 1 4 minus 1 3 so j value has now becomes 3 3 less than 3 is the condition is true or not obviously false so here uh, we are stopping and just moving to the outer loop that is to this loop okay okay so now the i value will becomes 2 previously it was 1 now it will become 2 and we are supposed to carry out the same process once again we need to check so we are having our array elements in this manner okay clear and the i value is how much now it's 2 okay and the j value is how much 0 okay you just used to write this in this manner so notebook or in your uh, copy you just used to write it like this so that the coding will be quite easy for you okay so now let's see i value is 2 and j value don't bother for this i it will be just outside the loop we need to carry out the inner loop for how many times so n minus i obviously n minus i here the n value as the n value is 4 so 4 minus i that is 2 and we need to carry out z, j must be less than 2 means only 2 times it will be less than 2 that is 0 and 1 for 0 and 1 values it will be less than 2 clear so let's find out so in the first case we need to check this this is representing the j 0 and uh, j plus 1 is 12 we need to check whether j a j is greater than a j plus 1 or not obviously not so this condition would be carried out clear okay so in the next j value will become how much 1 okay 1 is less than 2 so we will be carrying out this one so we need to check whether a j means this one a1 is greater than a2 or not is it true or not a j is greater than a j plus 1 obviously true so we need to swap them okay so so our array now will become like this 5 7 12 and 63 okay so this will be the array and uh, in fact the shorting of the array has been established from this step as itself okay you need to you don't need to carry out but means other values you need to carry out till the finishing of the uh, finishing of this process okay whenever you will be trying to find out the coding when you'll be trying to determine the coding sequence you need to move on in this way okay in order to determine that and that makes your coding skills quite easier for it okay now you can understand this entire code in few seconds and it will be very much easier for you as well okay okay so this is the code for the shorting of the numbers and it's the basic approach the double shot algorithm i'm just trying to short the numbers in an array I can also short the numbers in the array using the hip shot, quick shot, merge shot, radix shot. Okay, so there are a lot of algorithms to short. The algorithms are countless. Even you can design in your own way. It it's not difficult. But if you are understanding how it's working, then it will be very much easier for you. Okay, so this is all about how the bubble shot algorithm is being carried out or how you can carry out the entire bubble shot algorithm okay so hope you like this video and this video is very much useful for you you have understand the concepts of bubble shot algorithm and uh, if you find this video quite useful for you so do like share subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon so that you will be notified with all the updates so thanks for watching this video have a good day